Welcome to our journey into the mystical world of Chinese legends and mythology. In this video, we'll explore ancient tales filled with powerful gods, heroic warriors, and mythical creatures. From the legendary Jade Emperor to the Dragon Kings, these stories have shaped Chinese culture for centuries. Discover the origins of the Zodiac, the Great Flood myth, and the captivating love stories of celestial beings. Join us as we delve into the enchanting lore that continues to inspire and fascinate. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our magical adventures. Pangu The Pangu myth has its roots in ancient Chinese culture, but it was not documented until relatively later in Chinese history. The earliest known written account of Pangu appears in the Three Five Historic Records, written by Xu Zheng, during the Three Kingdoms period, 220 to 280 AD. The tale of Pangu likely originated from oral traditions and regional folklore, which were eventually consolidated into a more cohesive narrative by Xu Zheng and other later scholars. The Birth of Pangu According to the myth, in the beginning, the universe was a formless, chaotic mass often described as a cosmic egg. Within this cosmic egg lay Pangu, a giant being who grew for 18,000 years. As he grew, the chaos began to differentiate, with the lighter elements rising to form the heavens and the heavier elements sinking to create the earth. Pangu creates the world. Upon waking from his long slumber, Pangu found himself surrounded by darkness and chaos. Using a great axe, he broke through the cosmic egg, separating the yin, earth, from the yang, sky. To ensure that the sky and earth remained apart, Pango stood between them, pushing the sky upwards while pressing the earth downwards. This arduous task took another 18,000 years. As he held up the sky, Pangu continued to grow, his body stretching to maintain the distance between the heavens and the earth. Pangu's Transformation After countless years of holding up the sky, Pangu's work was complete. He laid down and, exhausted, eventually died. With his death, Pangu's body transformed into various elements of the natural world. Symbolism and Interpretation Pangu's story is rich in symbolism and has been interpreted in various ways throughout Chinese history. His separation of yin and yang represents the fundamental dualism in Chinese philosophy, where balance and harmony between opposing forces are essential for the stability of the universe. The gradual creation process highlights the importance of patience, effort, and the interdependence of all things in nature. Pangu in Chinese Culture Though the Pangu myth is ancient, its influence persists in Chinese culture. Pangu is often depicted as a giant, primitive man with a muscular build, symbolizing strength and endurance. Artistic representations of Pangu show him with an axe, embodying his role as a creator who shaped the world through immense physical effort. In literature and art, Pangu's story is frequently referenced to illustrate themes of creation, transformation, and the cyclical nature of life. The myth has also influenced other East Asian cultures, contributing to their own creation stories and cosmological beliefs. Comparisons with other creation myths Pangu's tale shares similarities with other creation myths around the world, emphasizing common themes in human understanding of the universe's origins. For instance, the Norse myth of Ymir, a primordial giant whose body also becomes the world, parallels Pangu's transformation. Additionally, many cultures feature a cosmic egg as the source of creation, illustrating a universal motif in mythological storytelling. Modern Interpretations and Adaptations In modern times, Pangu's story has been adapted and reinterpreted in various media, including literature, film, and television. These adaptations often highlight the myth's dramatic and epic nature, bringing Pangu's legend to new audiences. Furthermore, Pangu's story has been incorporated into educational materials, helping to teach Chinese mythology and cultural heritage. Conclusion The myth of Pangu is a cornerstone of Chinese mythology, 
providing a profound narrative about the creation of the world and the origins of life. Through his immense effort and ultimate sacrifice, Pangu established the fundamental elements of the universe, embodying key philosophical concepts and values. His story continues to inspire and resonate, reflecting the timeless nature of myth and the enduring human quest to understand our place in the cosmos. The Cosmic Egg and Chaos In the beginning, before the existence of heaven and earth, there was only a vast, dark expanse of formless chaos. This chaos is often depicted as a cosmic egg, containing the potential for all things. The concept of a cosmic egg is a recurring motif in various mythologies worldwide, symbolizing the universe's embryonic state before creation. Within this cosmic egg, Pangu, the first being, was conceived. Pangu's presence within the egg represents the latent potential and the nascent order within the primordial chaos. His gestation period of 18,000 years signifies the immense duration and gradual nature of the universe's formation. The Role of Yin and Yang A crucial aspect of Pangu's creation myth is the separation of yin and yang, the two fundamental principles in Chinese philosophy. Yin and yang represent the dualistic nature of the universe, encompassing opposite yet complementary forces. Yin is associated with darkness, passivity, and femininity, while yang is linked to light, activity, and masculinity. Pangu's act of separating the sky and earth symbolizes the differentiation of these forces, establishing balance and harmony in the cosmos. This separation is not merely a physical act, but also a metaphysical one, as it introduces order and structure to the previously chaotic universe. The interplay of yin and yang continues to influence Chinese cosmology, medicine, and philosophy, emphasizing the importance of balance in all aspects of life. Pangu Sacrifice and Transformation The transformation of Pangu's body into the various elements of the natural world is a testament to his role as a creator deity. This aspect of the myth highlights the interconnectedness of all things in nature, with each part of Pangu's body contributing to the formation of the universe. His breath becoming the wind, his voice transforming into thunder, and his eyes becoming the sun and moon illustrate the holistic view of creation in Chinese mythology. Pangu's sacrifice underscores the theme of selflessness and the idea that creation often involves destruction or transformation. By giving his life, Pangu ensures the existence and continuity of the natural world. This concept resonates with other myths and religious beliefs, where deities or primordial beings undergo transformation or sacrifice to bring forth creation. Artistic and Cultural Representations Throughout Chinese history, Pangu has been a popular subject in art and literature. He is typically depicted as a giant, often with a muscular physique, holding a great axe. This imagery reinforces his role as a powerful and active creator, shaping the world through physical effort. Pangu's depiction varies across different regions and periods, reflecting the diversity of interpretations and the enduring appeal of his story. In addition to visual art, Pangu's myth has inspired numerous literary works, from classical poetry to modern fiction. These works often explore the themes of creation, transformation, and the human connection to the cosmos. Pangu's story also features in Chinese festivals and rituals, where his legacy is celebrated and remembered. Influence on Chinese philosophy and religion Pangu's creation myth has significantly influenced Chinese philosophy and religion, particularly Taoism. The concepts of yin and yang, as well as the emphasis on balance and harmony, are integral to Taoist thought. Pangu's story exemplifies the Daoist principles of natural order and the cyclical nature of the universe. Moreover, Pangu's transformation into various elements of the natural world aligns with the Daoist belief in the unity and interdependence of all things. This holistic view encourages a harmonious relationship between humanity and nature, promoting sustainability and reverence for the environment. Monkey King Sun Wukong's origins can be traced back to a combination of Chinese folklore and religious beliefs. 
His birth is shrouded in mystery, but he emerges fully formed, possessing incredible strength and magical abilities. According to Journey to the West, he was born from a stone nourished by the elements, imbued with the essence of heaven and earth. This birth imbues him with a sense of immortality and a destiny intertwined with the cosmic order. In Chinese mythology, monkeys are often associated with immortality and transcendence. They are believed to have the ability to transform, to learn the secrets of longevity, and to possess supernatural powers. Sun Wukong, as a monkey born from such auspicious circumstances, embodies these qualities to the fullest extent. Character Traits and Attributes Sun Wukong's character is defined by a complex interplay of virtues and flaws, making him a compelling and dynamic figure. Power and martial skill, Sun Wukong possesses immense physical strength and martial prowess. He can lift mountains, leap vast distances, and wield his signature weapon, the Rui Jingu Bang, a magical staff that can change size and weight at his command. Magical abilities, apart from physical strength, Sun Wukong has a mastery of Taoist magic, which allows him to transform his shape, clone himself, and control the elements. His ability to shapeshift into 72 different forms, including animals and objects, showcases his supernatural versatility. Rebellious nature, one of Sun Wukong's defining characteristics is his rebellious spirit. He challenges authority, including that of the gods, and often acts impulsively, driven by his desire for recognition and power. This rebellious streak leads him into conflict but also propels his heroic deeds. Quest for immortality, like many mythical figures in Chinese folklore, Sun Wukong seeks immortality and spiritual transcendence. His journey is not just physical, but also spiritual, as he learns about the nature of existence, the consequences of his actions, and the limits of power. Roll in Journey to the West The novel Journey to the West chronicles the pilgrimage of the Buddhist monk Xuanzang, also known as Tripitaka, to India to obtain sacred Buddhist scriptures. Sun Wukong, along with other companions, Zhu Baji, Pigzi, and Shou Wujing, Sandy, accompanies him on this arduous journey. Sun Wukong serves as Xuanzang's protector and champion, using his strength and abilities to overcome countless obstacles and adversaries. Throughout the journey, Sun Wukong's character evolves significantly. Initially arrogant and reckless, he learns humility and compassion through his trials and tribulations. His loyalty to Xuanzang deepens as he discovers the importance of selflessness and spiritual growth. Symbolism and Allegory Journey to the West is rich with symbolism and allegory, reflecting both Buddhist teachings and Taoist philosophy. Buddhist themes, Sun Wukong's journey symbolizes the path to enlightenment in Buddhism. His quest for the scriptures represents the search for wisdom and spiritual liberation. His trials and transformations mirror the challenges and temptations one faces on the path to enlightenment. Taoist influence, Taoist principles, such as the balance of yin and yang and the pursuit of immortality, are also central to Sun Wukong's character. His magical abilities and affinity with nature reflect Taoist beliefs in harmony with the cosmos and mastery of the natural world. Human Nature Sun Wukong embodies both the best and worst aspects of human nature. His strengths and flaws make him relatable and serve as a mirror for readers to reflect upon their own struggles and aspirations. Cultural Impact and Adaptations The story of the Monkey King has transcended its literary origins to become a cultural phenomenon. Literature and Performing Arts, Journey to the West has inspired numerous adaptations in literature, theater, opera, and modern media. Its characters and themes are regularly reinterpreted and reimagined, both in China and internationally. Popular culture, Sun Wukong is a beloved figure in popular culture, appearing in films, television series, video games, and comic books. His image and character traits have become iconic symbols of strength, resilience, and heroism. Philosophical Legacy 
the character of Sun Wukong continues to resonate with audiences because of its timeless themes and universal truths. His journey from rebellion to enlightenment mirrors the human quest for meaning and fulfillment. White Snake The earliest roots of the White Snake legend can be traced back to the Tang Dynasty, 618 to 907 AD, where stories of snake spirits and their interactions with humans were common in folklore. However, the fully developed narrative we recognize today took shape during the Ming Dynasty, 1368-1644 AD, particularly in the literary work Jing Sha Tong Yang, Stories to Caution the World, by Feng Meng Long. Over time, the story has been adapted into countless forms, including Peking opera, films, TV series, and modern novels, each adding layers to its rich narrative. Main Characters by Sujin, the protagonist of the story, by Sujin, is a white snake spirit who has cultivated her powers for centuries to become a human. She embodies beauty, wisdom, and benevolence, striving to lead a virtuous life among humans. Xu Xian, a kind-hearted but somewhat naive scholar, Xu Xian is Bai Sujin's mortal husband. His love for Bai Sujin transcends the boundaries of the natural and supernatural worlds, making their relationship a central element of the legend. F.A. Hai, a Buddhist monk who serves as the antagonist in the story. F.A. Hai is a staunch guardian of human and spiritual order, believing that the union between a human and a snake spirit is unnatural and must be prevented at all costs. Xiao Qing, Bai Suzhen's loyal companion, Xiao Qing is originally a green snake spirit. She plays a crucial role in assisting Bai Sujin and protecting her against threats, particularly from F.A. High. Plot Summary The legend begins with Bai Sujin and Xiao Qing, two snake spirits who, after centuries of disciplined practice, transform into beautiful women. One fateful day, they encounter Xu Xian at the broken bridge on the West Lake in Hangzhou. An accidental meeting leads to love at first sight between Bai Sujin and Xu Xian, and they soon marry. Their life together is filled with happiness and prosperity, and Bai Sujin uses her magical abilities to help others, enhancing their reputation in the community. However, their idyllic life is disrupted by F.A. Hai, who learns of Bai Sujin's true identity. Determined to separate the couple and restore what he perceives as the natural order, F.A. Hai sets out to expose Bai Sujin. F.A. Hai's initial attempts to capture Bai Sujin are thwarted, but he eventually tricks Xu Xian into forcing Bai Sujin to reveal her true form, a gigantic white snake. Terrified, Xu Xian dies from shock. Overcome with grief, Bai Sujin retrieves a rare herb from Mount Ame to revive her husband. Xu Xian is brought back to life, but the couple's troubles are far from over. F.A. Hai captures Xu Xian and imprisons him in Jinshan Temple. Bai Sujin and Xiao Qing launch a daring rescue, culminating in a dramatic battle where Bai Sujin floods the temple with her magical powers. Despite her strength, she is ultimately defeated, and F.A. Hai imprisons her in Lei Feng Pagoda, where she remains until her son, born of her union with Xu Xian, grows up and rescues her. Themes and Symbolism Love and sacrifice, at its core, the white snake legend is a love story that transcends the boundaries between the human and supernatural realms. Bai Sujin's love for Xu Xian drives her to make enormous sacrifices, highlighting the theme of enduring love and loyalty. Transformation and identity, the ability of Bai Sujin and Xiao Qing to transform from snakes into humans symbolizes the fluidity of identity and the possibility of change. This theme resonates with the Buddhist and Daoist beliefs in transformation and the impermanence of all things. Conflict between natural and supernatural, the struggle between Bai Sujin and F.A. Hai represents the tension between the natural and supernatural worlds. F.A. Hai's efforts to separate the couple can be seen as an attempt to maintain the natural order, while Bai Sujin's actions challenge these boundaries. Good versus Evil the characters of Bai Sujin and F.A. Hai embody the classic struggle between good and evil. 
by Sujin, despite being a snake spirit, is portrayed as kind and virtuous, while F.A. Hai, though a monk, represents rigidity and intolerance. This juxtaposition challenges traditional notions of morality and virtue. Religious and cultural context, the legend incorporates elements of Buddhism, Taoism, and Chinese folklore, reflecting the rich tapestry of Chinese religious and cultural beliefs. F.A. Hai's role as a Buddhist monk highlights the influence of Buddhism, while the magical elements draw from Taoist traditions. Cultural Significance The white snake legend has left an indelible mark on Chinese culture. Its themes of love, transformation, and the clash between human and supernatural realms have universal appeal, making it a timeless story. The tale has inspired countless artistic expressions, from traditional Chinese opera to modern cinema, each adaptation bringing new dimensions to the story. In Chinese opera, the white snake legend is a staple, with its dramatic scenes and emotional depth providing rich material for performers. The characters of Bai Sujin, Xu Xian, and F.A. Hai have become archetypal figures, representing broader themes of love, sacrifice, and moral conflict. The story has also been adapted into numerous films and TV series, both in China and internationally. Each adaptation reflects contemporary concerns and sensibilities, demonstrating the legend's enduring relevance. For instance, modern retellings often emphasize feminist themes, portraying Bai Sujin as a strong, independent woman challenging patriarchal norms. Modern Interpretations in recent years, the white snake legend has been reinterpreted through various lenses, including feminism, psychoanalysis, and postcolonial theory. These modern interpretations highlight different aspects of the story, offering fresh perspectives on its themes and characters. Feminist interpretations, feminist scholars and storytellers have re-examined the character of Bai Sujin, focusing on her agency, strength, and resilience. These interpretations challenge traditional patriarchal readings of the legend, portraying Bai Sujin as a symbol of female empowerment and resistance against male domination, represented by F.A. Hai. Psychoanalytic interpretations Some psychoanalytic readings of the legend explore the symbolic meanings of the characters and their actions. Bai Sujin's transformation from a snake into a woman can be seen as a metaphor for the unconscious mind's desires and fears. The conflict with F.A. High represents the struggle between different aspects of the psyche. Postcolonial interpretations Postcolonial interpretations examine the legend in the context of cultural identity and resistance. By Sujin's struggle against F.A. High can be seen as a metaphor for the resistance of marginalized groups against dominant cultural forces. This perspective highlights the legend's themes of transformation and identity in a broader socio-cultural context. Jade Emperor The Jade Emperor's origins are somewhat nebulous, reflecting the fluid nature of Chinese mythology where stories evolve and interweave over centuries. According to some traditions, the Jade Emperor was originally a mortal named Zhong Dan, who underwent rigorous spiritual cultivation to achieve immortality and ultimately ascend to the role of the supreme deity. Other accounts suggest he has always been a divine being, pre-existing in the heavens since the beginning of time. In Taoist belief, he is often considered an incarnation or an aspect of Yuan Chuenzuan, one of the three pure ones, which are the highest deities in the Taoist pantheon. This association underscores his supreme status and his embodiment of the celestial authority that governs all aspects of existence. The Celestial Bureaucracy One of the distinctive features of the Jade Emperor's reign is the celestial bureaucracy he oversees, which mirrors the imperial government structure of ancient China. This divine administration includes numerous deities, each responsible for different aspects of the cosmos, nature, and human affairs. The Jade Emperor's court is populated with officials such as the Kitchen God, Zhao Jun, the City Gods, Cheng Huang, and various other local deities and spirits. This bureaucratic system ensures that the Jade Emperor's rule is comprehensive and orderly, maintaining harmony in the universe. 
Each deity within this hierarchy reports to the Jade Emperor, who in turn delegates responsibilities to ensure that cosmic laws are upheld and that balance is maintained in both the heavens and on Earth. Mythological Tales The Origin Story A prevalent myth about the Jade Emperor's rise to power begins with his birth as the Prince of the Pure Felicity Kingdom in the vast obscure heaven. Born to King Pure Virtue and Queen of Precious Moonlight, the prince exhibited extraordinary traits from a young age, possessing immense wisdom and a deep sense of compassion. At the age of 17, the prince renounced his royal privileges to pursue spiritual enlightenment. After 3,200 eons of rigorous ascetic practice and meditation, he achieved true enlightenment. Following this period, he spent an additional 100 million years performing good deeds and cultivating his virtue. His unparalleled dedication eventually earned him the position of the Jade Emperor, the ruler of the heavens. The Rebellion of the Demon King One of the most famous stories involving the Jade Emperor is the tale of his battle with the Demon King, who sought to overthrow the heavenly order. The Demon King, having amassed an army of demons and spirits, waged war against the heavens. The Jade Emperor, leading the celestial forces, fought a fierce and protracted battle. After a lengthy and arduous struggle, the Jade Emperor triumphed, restoring peace and order to the cosmos. This story is not only a tale of good versus evil, but also a reflection of the underlying Taoist belief in the balance of opposing forces. The Jade Emperor's victory symbolizes the triumph of order and harmony over chaos and disorder. The Great Race and the Chinese Zodiac the Jade Emperor is also central to the legend of the Chinese Zodiac. According to this story, he decided to create a way to measure time and invited all the animals to a race. The first 12 animals to cross the river would be honored with a place in the Zodiac calendar. This race is a fundamental part of Chinese folklore and astrology, explaining the characteristics attributed to each Zodiac sign. The rat, through cunning and intelligence, won the race by hitching a ride on the ox and jumping off at the last moment to cross the finish line first. The Jade Emperor's role in this tale illustrates his position as the ultimate arbiter and organizer of celestial and temporal order. Symbolism and Worship The Jade Emperor is a symbol of supreme authority, benevolence, and moral integrity. His image often depicts him as a regal figure clad in traditional imperial robes, holding a ceremonial tablet, and seated on a throne, embodying the grandeur and solemnity of an imperial ruler. In Taoist temples, the Jade Emperor is venerated with elaborate ceremonies and offerings, especially during the first day of the Lunar New Year, known as the Jade Emperor's birthday. Devotees pray for blessings, protection, and prosperity, reflecting his role as a guardian of cosmic order and human welfare. The Jade Emperor's birthday, celebrated on the ninth day of the first lunar month, is a major event in many Taoist communities. Rituals performed on this day often include offerings of incense, food, and paper effigies, which are burnt as a way to send them to the heavens. These practices are meant to honor the Jade Emperor and seek his favor for the coming year. Influence on Chinese Culture the Jade Emperor's influence extends beyond religious practices into various aspects of Chinese culture. He appears in classic literature, opera, and art, often depicted as the archetype of the wise and just ruler. His stories are told to impart moral lessons and cultural values, emphasizing virtues like diligence, piety, and integrity. In traditional Chinese opera, the Jade Emperor is a prominent figure, and his stories are dramatized to reflect the themes of cosmic justice and moral righteousness. These performances are not only entertainment, but also a means of cultural transmission, keeping the legends alive across generations. Furthermore, the Jade Emperor's role in folklore often serves as a framework for understanding the natural and social order. Festivals and customs associated with him are integral to the cultural fabric, reinforcing communal ties and collective identity through shared rituals and stories. Comparative Mythology 
The concept of a supreme deity governing the universe is not unique to Chinese mythology. The Jade Emperor shares similarities with other mythological figures such as Zeus in Greek mythology, Odin in Norse mythology, and Indra in Hindu mythology. These deities, like the Jade Emperor, are often depicted as kings of gods, wielding immense power and authority over both divine and mortal realms. However, the Jade Emperor's distinctiveness lies in the specific cultural context of the Chinese imperial system, which deeply influences his portrayal and the structure of the heavenly bureaucracy. The parallels between the celestial and terrestrial realms in Chinese mythology reflect the broader philosophical and societal values embedded in Confucian and Taoist thought. Modern Interpretations and Legacy In contemporary times, the Jade Emperor remains a potent symbol in Chinese religious and cultural life. He continues to be a figure of reverence and respect, his legends and stories retold in modern media, literature, and even in popular culture. His enduring presence speaks to the resilience of traditional beliefs and their adaptation to changing times. The Jade Emperor's portrayal in modern media often bridges traditional mythology with contemporary themes. For instance, in television dramas, films, and novels, the Jade Emperor is sometimes reimagined in new contexts, reflecting ongoing cultural dialogues and reinterpretations of ancient myths. In the diaspora, Chinese communities around the world maintain the worship of the Jade Emperor, celebrating his birthday and performing rituals that connect them to their heritage. Temples dedicated to the Jade Emperor can be found in many countries, serving as cultural hubs that preserve and promote traditional practices. Dragon King The concept of dragons in China traces its roots back to ancient times, possibly originating from early animistic beliefs and the reverence for natural forces. Unlike the fire-breathing dragons of Western mythology, Chinese dragons were initially associated with water and weather phenomena, particularly rain. The earliest depictions of dragons can be found on artifacts from the Shang Dynasty, 16th to 11th century BCE, where they were symbols of imperial power and divine favor. Over millennia, the image and symbolism of dragons evolved, influenced by various philosophical and religious currents, including Taoism, Confucianism, and Buddhism. Deist beliefs, in particular, emphasized the harmony between humans and nature, viewing dragons as guardians of cosmic order and agents of transformation. Confucian thought integrated dragons into imperial iconography, associating them with the virtues of rulership, benevolence, wisdom and strength. Buddhism, upon entering China, further enriched dragon mythology with its own spiritual symbolism, blending it with indigenous beliefs. Characteristics of Chinese Dragons Chinese dragons are distinct from their Western counterparts in several key aspects. Physical appearance, rather than the reptilian monsters of Western lore, Chinese dragons are often depicted as composite creatures, amalgamating features of various animals, the body of a snake, the antlers of a deer, the scales of a fish, and the claws of an eagle. They lack wings but are believed to possess the ability to fly through mystical powers. Number of Claws The number of claws traditionally distinguishes dragons in Chinese art and iconography. Dragons with five claws were reserved for imperial use, symbolizing the Son of Heaven, the Emperor, while dragons with fewer claws were used by the nobility and commoners. Color Dragons are associated with different colors, each carrying symbolic meanings. The yellow dragon, for instance, is associated with the emperor and represents imperial authority and governance. Other colors, blue, red, black, and white, are also significant, each with its own associations of power, wisdom, and fortune. Personality and behavior, Chinese dragons are benevolent and wise beings, often depicted as protectors of humanity, bringers of rain, and guardians of treasures. They are revered for their ability to control water, hence their association with rain and rivers, crucial for agricultural prosperity. Roles and Symbolism 
Dragons play multifaceted roles in Chinese mythology and culture, each role deeply intertwined with broader spiritual and philosophical themes. Harbingers of rain and water, in agrarian societies like ancient China, dragons were revered as controllers of water and weather. They were believed to bring rain for crops, ensuring prosperity and abundance. Symbols of imperial power, from early dynasties onward, Chinese emperors adopted dragons as symbols of their divine right to rule. The dragon became synonymous with imperial authority, representing the emperor's mandate from heaven and his role as a bridge between heaven and earth. Guardians of treasure, dragons are often depicted guarding precious treasures, such as pearls or the elixir of immortality. This symbolizes their role as protectors of knowledge, wisdom, and spiritual insight. Spiritual guardians, Daoist and Buddhist traditions view dragons as spiritual guardians, embodying cosmic forces and celestial energies. They are associated with the flow of qi, life force, and the balance of yin and yang, essential principles in Chinese metaphysics. Symbols of transformation, dragons are also symbols of transformation and renewal. They are believed to have the ability to shapeshift and traverse different realms, signifying the cyclical nature of existence and the potential for personal growth and enlightenment. Cultural Impact and Legacy The influence of dragons extends far beyond mythology into various aspects of Chinese culture and daily life. Art and Architecture Dragons are ubiquitous in Chinese art and architecture, adorning temples, palaces, and works of art. Their presence symbolizes protection, prosperity, and auspiciousness. Festivals and celebrations, dragons feature prominently in Chinese festivals and celebrations, most notably during the Lunar New Year, where dragon dances are performed to ward off evil spirits and usher in good fortune for the coming year. Literature and folklore, countless stories and legends featuring dragons have been passed down through generations, enriching Chinese folklore. These tales often emphasize moral lessons and the virtues associated with dragons, such as courage, wisdom, and filial piety. Modern symbolism, even in modern China, dragons continue to hold symbolic importance. They are frequently used in corporate logos, as mascots for sports teams, and as motifs in fashion and design, reflecting their enduring popularity and cultural resonance. Dragons in Contemporary Context While modern interpretations of dragons in China often focus on their cultural and symbolic significance, their mythical attributes continue to inspire fascination worldwide. Beyond China, dragons have permeated global popular culture through literature, films, and video games, perpetuating their image as powerful and mystical beings. Newer Newer is a primordial deity in Chinese mythology, often portrayed with a human head and a serpent's body. This imagery symbolizes the dual nature of existence, combining human intelligence with the fluid, transformative essence of the serpent. The earliest records of Newer date back to texts from the Warring States period, 475 to 221 BCE, although her myths are likely much older, rooted in ancient oral traditions. Creation of Humanity One of the most famous legends involving Nua is her creation of humanity. According to myth, the world was initially a desolate place until Nua, moved by loneliness, decided to populate it. She mold figures from yellow clay, infusing them with life. These figures became the first humans. In some versions, she created the upper class from yellow clay and the lower class from mud, illustrating early reflections on social hierarchy. This act of creation showcases Nua's role as a life-giving force. Her connection to clay also ties her to the earth, emphasizing her status as a mother figure and a nurturer. By breathing life into her creations, Nua establishes a direct link between the divine and humanity, highlighting the sacredness of life and the human connection to the divine. The Repair of the Sky Another central myth involving Nua is the story of her repairing the sky. This legend begins with a cataclysmic event, 
the sky cracked open, causing floods and fires that threatened to destroy the world. The cracks in the sky symbolize chaos and the breakdown of cosmic order. Newer, embodying the principles of balance and restoration, took it upon herself to mend the sky and restore harmony. To repair the sky, Newer collected five colored stones, each representing different elements and virtues. Using these stones, she meticulously patched the sky, stopping the deluge and quelling the fires. Additionally, she slew a giant turtle, using its legs to support the four corners of the sky. This act not only restored order but also demonstrated her strength and ingenuity. The story of Nua repairing the sky underscores her role as a protector and savior of humanity. It illustrates the themes of sacrifice, resilience, and the restoration of balance. The five colored stones signify the harmony of different elements coming together to heal the world, reflecting the Deoist principle of unity in diversity. Cultural Significance Newer's legends have had a profound impact on Chinese culture and spirituality. She is often invoked as a symbol of creation, repair, and protection. In traditional Chinese art, Nua is frequently depicted alongside her brother and consort, Fushi, who is also a culture hero and creator figure. Together, they represent the dual forces of yin and yang, the fundamental principles of Chinese cosmology. Nua and Fushi Fushi, like Nua, is depicted with a human head and a serpent's body. He is credited with teaching humanity essential skills such as hunting, fishing, and writing. The pairing of Nua and Fushi highlights the complementary nature of their roles, Nua as the creator and nurturer, and Fushi as the civilizer and educator. Their union symbolizes the harmony between creation and civilization, the natural world and human ingenuity. Nua in Taoism In Taoism, Nua is revered as a goddess who embodies the Tao, the underlying principle of the universe. Her actions in mending the sky are seen as an expression of the Taoist ideal of restoring balance and harmony. The serpent imagery associated with Nua also resonates with Taoist themes of transformation and the cyclical nature of existence. Nua's legends are thus interpreted as metaphors for the Taoist pursuit of balance, harmony, and enlightenment. Nua in popular culture Nua's influence extends beyond religious and philosophical contexts into popular culture. She appears in various forms of Chinese literature, opera, and art. Her stories are taught to children, emphasizing moral lessons about creativity, resilience, and the importance of balance. Nua's image and myths are also present in modern media, including films, television shows, and video games, where she is often portrayed as a powerful and benevolent deity. Interpretations and Legacy The myths of Nua have been interpreted in various ways throughout Chinese history. Scholars have examined her legends for insights into ancient Chinese cosmology, social structure, and values. Nua's role as a creator and protector has been seen as a reflection of the high status accorded to women in certain periods of Chinese history, as well as the importance of maternal figures in Chinese culture. Feminist Interpretations Feminist scholars have found Nua's myths particularly significant. As a powerful female deity who creates and saves humanity, Nua challenges patriarchal norms and provides a model of female agency and authority. Her legends celebrate the feminine principles of creation, nurture, and protection, offering an empowering narrative for women. Nua's ability to act independently and decisively in times of crisis underscores her strength and autonomy, making her a potent symbol of female empowerment. Ecological Interpretations In recent years, Nua's legends have also been interpreted through an ecological lens. Her creation of humanity from clay emphasizes the connection between humans and the earth, highlighting the theme of environmental stewardship. The story of her repairing the sky can be seen as a metaphor for the need to restore ecological balance and address environmental crises. Nua's actions reflect the values of sustainability, resilience, 
and the interdependence of all life forms. Psychological Interpretations Psychologically, Newer's myths can be viewed as archetypal narratives that address fundamental human concerns. Her creation of humanity speaks to the deep-seated need for connection and belonging, while her repair of the sky symbolizes the human quest for order and stability in the face of chaos. Newer's role as a protector and nurturer resonates with the archetype of the Great Mother, a universal symbol of care, protection, and unconditional love.